Hello students, in this particular class we are going to discuss regarding Vishweshwaraya Technological University question paper uh, problems related to module number 1. So uh, in previous classes we discussed regarding how to solve numericals generally oriented to concepts. Now in this class I will take uh, past 5 years problem whatever the problems covered uh, in question, PTU question paper especially related to CBCS scheme. So, let me move on to the first problem. Determine the resultant force. Determine the resultant force. And its inclination. its inclination for the force system shown in figure for the force system shown in figure Sixteen Newton, fifteen Newton, a couple. 100 Newton meter, one more perpendicular force to this member is 20 Newton and this is A, B, C, D, the horizontal meter is 6 meters and the vertical is 4 meters and this is 3.5 meters, A to B distance. A to B distance is 3.5 meters and A to D distance is 4 meters and B to C distance is 6 meters. So, given in problem. This is the given problem. So, in this particular problem, the ultimate aim of the problem is to determine the resultant force, to determine the resultant force and its inclination and its inclination. So, this is the given force system. See, A, B, C, D is the force system in which there are several forces are acting. Ultimately, we have to determine the resultant and its inclination R and theta value. So, well before that, we have to identify how many number of forces and out of our total forces, how many are purely vertical and purely horizontal. If any forces inclined in the system, we have to resolve that force into pure horizontal and vertical forces. That is the first thing in free body diagram. So here uh, we are having 60 Newton is inclined and 200 is also inclined and uh, purely horizontal 50 and 30 is purely vertical. So this 50 and 30 no matters we will take direct value but this 60 we have to resolve, this 20 we have to resolve. For resolving we require angle. How to compute angle computation? And what are the required angles? See, if you compute this theta 1, then we are getting the 60. And if we compute this theta 2, using this theta 2, using this theta 2, using this theta 2, see this is the member, this is the inclination. Theta 3 can be easily determined. This is a perpendicular. This is a perpendicular. So, if you know this theta, 90 minus theta 2 is theta 3. Now, from this triangle, from this diagram, we can easily say that tan theta 1 is opposite by adjacent. So, tan theta 1, tan theta 1, opposite from triangle, this is from triangle, from triangle ABD. So, from triangle ABD, we are going to determine theta 1 value. Tan theta is opposite by adjacent. 
so 4 by 3.5 4 by 3.5 therefore theta 1 equals tan inverse 4 by 3.5 so what is the value theta 1 48.81 48.81 degree similarly if you want theta 2 see drop just perpendicular so see d e you take this point as e so from triangle from triangle b c e BCE we can determine theta 2 apply tan theta 2 is opposite by adjacent opposite is 4 meter this adjacent this is 6 minus 3.5 which is 2.5 meters so opposite is it's similar to whatever this height this height is also 4 meter so 4 divided by 2.5 Therefore, theta 2 equals tan inverse 4 divided by 2.5. What is the answer? 57.99. 57.99. Now, for this triangle, you take E, F, G. From triangle, from triangle, B, F, G. So we require theta 3 equals 90 minus theta 2. 90 minus theta 2. So 90 minus theta 2 value is 57.99. 57.99. What is theta 3? 32.01. 32.01 degree. See, it's very simple. Here we have determined the values of theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3. Theta 1 can be determined using this triangle opposite by adjacent. We got theta 1 as 48.81. Theta 2 is determined by this triangle. Theta 2 is 4 by 2.5. Tan inverse 4 by 2.5. We are getting theta 2. Once we when we have got theta 2, theta 3 is, is a perpendicular. Drop this on baseline. Theta 3 from this triangle. Theta 3 equals 90 minus theta 2. We are getting theta 3 easily. This is the angle computation. Now write the free body diagram. Free body diagram. Now, write the free body diagram. So, this is the 60 Newton force, first one. From here, 60 Newton force. Now this theta 1 value, this angle is theta 1 is 48.81, the same inclination here also, theta 1, theta 1, so this is 60 Newton, 60 Newton, so it will become 60 cos theta 1, 60 cos 48.81 and vertically 60 side 48.81, it's very simple. Whenever the angle is there, it's with respect to horizontal, that's why horizontal is cos theta. Or if it is vertical inclination, vertical is cos theta, remaining one is sin theta. Here the inclination, whatever this angle, here the same angle 48.81, here also you are getting 48.81 degree. Therefore, horizontal is 40, 60, force, 60 cos 48.81, vertical is 60 sin 48.81. Now, here you are having theta 3. Theta 3 equal 90 minus theta 2. So, 32.01. 32.01 degree. So, horizontal component, vertical component. Here also, horizontal component is inclination. Therefore, this is 20 cos 32.01 degree. And 20 sin 32.01 degree. So, this is A. B, 
C D. You are having one more couple, hundred newton meter. This is free body diagram. Free body diagram. Free body diagram. See, don't confuse with this couple. In this particular problem, only resultant and its inclination is asking. Is has is talking purely about forces. So it's a couple. For the confusion purpose, they have mentioned the couple. So don't confuse with this. So we are uh, not dealing with this couple in this particular problem. Now compute uh, what we have to compute. We have to compute resultant. So the resultant is given by resultant is given by R equals square root of sigma f x square plus sigma f y square. Now we have to compute sigma f x and sigma f y for this entire system. What is sigma f x? Sigma f x equal all horizontal forces, summation of all horizontal forces. The sign convention is all right side acting forces are positive and all left side acting forces are negative. How many horizontal forces are acting in this system? 50 Newton, 1, 60 cos 48.81, that's the second one. Third one is 20 cos 32.01. Total 3 horizontal forces. So first you take 50, that's positive because acting right side. Next you take minus 60 cos 48.81. Next minus 20 cos 32.01. Why minus? Because these two forces acting left side. So what is the sum? Minus, Sigma fx? Minus 6.47 Newton. Minus 6.47 Newton. Like compare sigma fy for sigma fy all upward forces are positive and all downward forces are negative this is the same convention so how many vertical forces one two three the first one is positive the first one is positive positive therefore 60 sign 60 sign 48.81 this is acting downward so minus 30 once again, this is acting upward plus 20 sine 32.01. What is the sum? 32.11. 32.11 Newton. Now substitute sigma fx as well as sigma fy values in resultant equation. We are getting R value. We are getting the, the resultant value is R equals square root of sigma fx square sigma fx is minus 6.47 square plus 25.75 square so what is r value 26 value 26.55 26.55 newton now resultant inclination resultant inclination resultant inclination that is theta equals tan inverse of magnitude of sigma fy by sigma fx. Here if you are having any negative values in sigma fx or sigma fy, consider it as positive because we are measuring the angle as a positive angle always. So that's why take magnitude of. So theta equals tan inverse of sigma fy value is 25 point. 75 divided by 6.47 here you are having minus 6.47 even though consider plus 6.47 because it's a magnitude we are referring with respect to positive values so what is theta 75.89 75.89 therefore r equals 26.55 newton and theta equals 75.89 degree Find the representation. Representation is very simple. Representation. Representation. Observe sigma fx. Sigma fx is negative. The sign convention is left side. So, left side. This is sigma fx. Sigma fx. What is the value? Minus 6.47 Newton. Next, sigma fy. Sigma fy is positive. The same convention is upward, represent sigma fy, sigma fy, the value is 25.75 Newton, 
25.75 newton result in in second quadrant this is r and we are measuring the angle with respect to theta x axis so r value is 26.55 newton and theta value is 75.89 degree so this is regarding representation this is regarding representation so this is very simple step i will explain once again please look at the given problem in this problem specifically is asking resultant r and its inclination resultant inclination theta for this we know the equation r equals square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square the thing is please observe the given problem in this given problem 30 newton is purely vertical no need to worry 15 newton is purely horizontal no need to worry but the 60 is inclined if it is inclined we must know the angle how to compute the angle consider this triangle apply tan function tan theta equals opposite by adjacent you are getting this angle whatever your angle the same principle of transmissivity the force will go out of at particular point g and the inclination same is theta 1 with respect to horizontal i have mentioned here i apply resolution concept whatever the inclination angle the inclination possible is with respect to x axis or with respect to y axis always inclination angle is cos theta remaining one is sin theta we know that so here it is inclination with respect to x axis therefore resolution with respect to x axis is cos theta 60 cos 48.81 60 sin 48.81 so this is purely vertical right as it is it is purely horizontal right as it is here you are having one more inclined force for the computation of this force we require theta 2 theta 2 can be computed using this triangle tan theta opposite by adjacent compute theta 2 now drop a perpendicular so now you are getting one more triangle using this triangle compute theta 3 theta 3 is the required value theta 3 equal 90 perpendicular minus theta 2 we are getting theta 3 whatever theta 3 value consider here resolve this next apply sigma fx summation of all horizontal forces use sign convention right side forces acting positive left side acting forces negative next apply sigma fy use sign convention all upward forces positive and all downward forces negative compare sigma fx with sigma fy and what is the resultant equation this is square root of sigma fx square plus sigma fy square compute resultant value and resultant inclination theta equal to tan inverse of sigma fy by sigma fx apply the value you are getting r and theta this is the required this problem is asked in video examination for 10 marks for 10 marks finally representation for representation is very very simple observe sigma fx here it's negative represent left side observe sigma fy it's positive sign convention is upward so it's in second quadrant in second quadrant mention r and theta is always measure with respect to x axis so representation thank you